準備完了。Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I will be talking about the upcoming characters for the first patch for the global version of Ether Gazer, which arrives in just a couple of days, in the red and green limited time event. For this patch we will be getting S rank variant of Aranko Cyrus, which you would already know about even if you skip the story. Anyways. S. Osiris is a wind or trace type unit that is the best choice for DPS, if you need someone to clear content if you don't have S. Poseidon as yet. The only downside is you're pretty much forced to run her with a rank shoe all the time to give her a much higher ultimate uptime along with her A rank variant who she also has a pretty cool ultimate skill chain with as well but, that might change when S. Thor is released later on. Also she's pretty much like Luna from PGR, so when using her be sure to be good at dodging, since she dies pretty easily, but when you activate her underworld judgment mode, you will have a full health bar to continue playing but as soon as it runs out, you'll revert to her original form with the amount of health you had before casing the ultimate, so running her with a good healer is probably best. Her signature functor gives her even more survivability and burst potential but free to play keys works just fine if you are free to play. As for her build, you can just use the recommended build or experiment with other sigils. For sigils buff, you'll most likely go for, crit damage, wind damage buff, ultimate skill charge and ultimate skill damage or anything else you want to throw into your personal build. If you are free to play, I guess it's okay for you to skip if you are not sure if you will have enough afterwards to pull a character you want, also she gets a rerun later along with the selector banner in 2.0, so you'll have a chance to get her and experience that insane ultimate skill chain attack she has with S4. And for those that are curious about her, here is some gameplay to help with your decision. Also with this patch comes a very very good rank variant of our main character, Verthandi. A Verthandi is a lightning and divine grace tank, that comes in very handy even at end with her decent amount of thunder DPS, long lasting shield and just a fun counter attack that if used properly can deal 540% or at max 1080% lightning damage, and enter zero time for 2 seconds. Upon a successful block, you'll obtain 15 Divine Grace, which is very good to have when in a tight spot. A Berthandi also has a pretty cool ultimate skill chain attack with our girl S. Tsukuyomi which does a shit ton of thunder damage. Later on you can run her in a lightning team with S. Tsukuyomi and S. Thor, or if you're a S. you enjoy like myself, you can always switch it around or not use her at all, that's up to you. 
She's also not AI dependent so using her on manual or as AI doesn't matter, since she does her job well either way. As for build, she runs fine with whatever key you give to her and as you can see I've been running her without her correct build but she plays fine anyway, she's just that good. But if you care about that stuff you can always just use the recommended build or do some experimenting with other sickles passes. Also for her shield, you use her blue ether code. And here's some gameplay for your enjoyment. That's gonna do it for the video. Thanks for watching guys. Please feel free to leave a like, and consider subscribing, also leave a comment if there's anything else you want to know.